Hi there, it's currently December 7th, 2018. We are doing a new moon reading in Sagittarius. Yay! I'm so excited about this new moon. I think it's actually going to be really beautiful. My name's Robin. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't, please subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. And again, thank you for clicking the thumbs up button. If you enjoy these, you're always welcome to comment on anything that you like or dislike on these videos. So this is a new thing for me. I just started connecting to moons, um, the full and the new, and really working with those energies. So if you want to, under my playlist, I have moon cycles, and you can uh, follow the new moon ritual, which will be really helpful in terms of understanding why this is significant, okay? One thing about Sagittarius energy is that they're fire. So if you're already a fire sign, which I am, it's going to be really great energy for you because it's just going to be amplified, all right? When we work with crystals and stones, often when we're trying to attract new beginnings or we're working on manifesting, stuff like that, clear quartz is a great stone for that. I actually have yellow citron here uh, beside me because I just feel like connecting to the energy of what I'm trying to attract, which is... Um, more about success in business, things like that. So again, connecting to the clear quartz, selenite's always great when you're also connecting to things that you want to attract. Often we have to let go of the things that aren't serving us. So anything like that's white um, would be great. Moonstone, etc. all right? So connecting to what it is that you want specifically and adding some of the, your own little rituals to, to that would be wonderful. So I'm doing my um, reading with my fairy tarot card deck. <sighs> There's just like a lot of negativity I feel like around um, because it's all about the you know chatter in inside of our head whether it's like towards other people towards ourselves and that's what we're really uh, working on ridding of all right so with this moon um, relationships are definitely going to uh, play a huge role in this because it's about being yourself and being unique and that's what fire signs really connect to is is that um, especially Sagittarius is that purpose so we want to feel like we can define ourselves find more meaning so uh, if that's a connection to writing for you if there's something that you have sentimental value um, towards great time for channeling and connecting to those um, items and things that are are helpful for you so that's probably what I was talking about crystals the energy of spiritual growth is definitely coming up. I know generosity is supposed to be really powerful during this time. So just acknowledging um, that energy within yourself and noticing it um, when other people are that way. So really showing that appreciation and gratitude as much as you can. But I do feel like it's going to be putting more appreciation and gratitude towards yourself right now. So connecting to your spiritual path, who you are how you react to situations, things like that. A great time for getting out in the public a little bit more because this is all about like being spontaneous and being fun, things like that. So this is a time for, you know, um, loving yourself and then attracting that energy from other people, all right? So be yourself. I can't say that enough during this time. Five of Swords. All right, this is about, I'm really feeling like this quiet contemplation energy is kind of coming up because... Because we're going to be connecting with so many people, Sagittarius's can be a little bit blunt. They can be a little bit forward, almost, I don't want to say aggressive, but they like they know how to have a good time. So their energy is going to be very forward. So if for some reason you need to go within, definitely take that time for more self-care, more self-love. If there are patterns of behaviors that you'd like to release, it's a great time for working on those, those partnerships. So team up with other people. But don't neglect who you are along the way, all right? Because we're really trying to work on that path. So be considerate about how other people are feeling. Knave of Swords. All right, this is talking about truth seeking, truth telling, things like that. So self-expression, even if you're really passionate about something, again, this fire energy, um, feel comfortable and confident enough with yourself to know when it's time for you to like reach out to other people, stuff like that. Because this energy is so forward, we have to work on that give and take. Um, but be very specific and with your words and be very detail oriented when it comes to your creating special moments in your life, things like that, all right? So your past 
is, you know, still a part of you, but keeping the things that are good and getting rid of the things that aren't, aren't good. All right. So that quiet contemplation is definitely going to be coming up at this moment. And I am doing this earlier than the seventh, just so you know, so it will be out earlier, but the, the day is, is for around the seventh. All right. The chariot. So this is about having a positive self image and having a positive outlook on our lives. So this is about um, people who uh, need to find peace in their lives. They need to really connect to the future as well because our new moons are all, is all about that new beginning. So focus on the things that bring you joy, bring you gratitude definitely being considerate of other people. So you're noticing the theme here. Eight of Swords, this is again talking about politics. It's safe for us to move forward in our passions and it's safe for you to let go of relationships that aren't positive, all right? So that spirituality is um, coming in because you're being guided on a new path and in a new direction. And if you're talented or gifted in something, definitely we're taking the bull by the horns right now and we're connecting to that, that inner Zen, that inner peace, that inner creativity, and know that there'll be signs along the way for you, all right? Ace of Pentacles, I love this card. I feel like connecting to entertainment, whether you're the entertainer or you're going out for more drinks and entertainment, things like that, that's very important for creating these pre precious moments in your life, these memories that won't be um, forgettable. That's kind of what I feel like. So we're, we're creating that, like you said, sentimental value. We're creating that appreciation. So don't deny yourself to that self of anything that's going to bring you pleasure right now. Um, and if you feel like somebody's not loving you the way you want them to or treating you that way, love yourself enough to walk away, all right, or demand that respect. Super important. So that's where the blunt energy is going to be in your favor because we're going to be communicating that very clearly. Again, the clear energy, the white energy is all about unconditional love. And that's why we do take care of ourselves and we do let go of the old because we know that we have to. If we love ourselves enough, we'll do it. Five of Wands, this is about letting go of what isn't serving you, all right? So allow yourself to walk into this abundant energy. I feel like don't worry about the negative energy that's in the world. Focus on the good in the humans, in the human nature of life, all right? That's why we want to be kind. So if you're a sensitive person, letting go of any worry energy at this time will be really helpful for you. If you're an indecisive person, connecting to the energy of astrology would be helpful for you. So five of pentacles, we're definitely on this like change path, right? So we have to open up our eyes to get more... Um, lessons and more clarity so that's why I was kind of saying like um, pay attention to those signs so it's actually how you deliver messages as well so if you're a person who um, wants to be better at communicating or is capable of of communicating um, information to people just make sure that you're being kind and considerate when you're doing that all right so compassion literature things like that um, your vibe is your tribe, so being around the right people, attracting the right people, the priestess. I really like this card. This is going back into that quiet contemplation and letting go of the judgment energy and that spiritual growth piece. The heart is really important at this moment in time, finding peace in the heart, peace in your soul, and going back into how you're delivering your energy, making sure that um, you're helping other people, stuff like that, right? So we have to make sure that we're still accomplishing what we set out to do. And that's where the fun energy can definitely get in the way. But it's okay if you need to put something off right now and do something for yourself as well, all right? Because kindness matters. Death. Ooh, this is a bit of a dark card. Um, but there's a lot of bright around it, all right? So it's seeing the light in the darkness. It's connecting to those crystals when you need a little bit of extra help or something like that or giving other people that extra help or that extra boost of of energy things like that so not everybody's on the same path so when we let go of judgment and we do our own clearing and our own cleansing and we get clarity on situations this is going to help the world as a whole and our vibration is going to all start to change together all right so uplifting the spirits of other people and that is something that is that's part of the entertainment piece as well you could do like 
um, you could do spiritual classes, things like that, or go to spiritual classes. I'm definitely trying to create some events actually for December 6th right now, December 11th. So a lot of stuff right around that energy and some of it is around crystals. Some of it is around cleansing, all right? But the protection piece is something that we all need. We need to work on protection, but we shall not fear this energy. So if you think too much, this can actually create fear in us, all right? So the more we um, approach situations in light and light um, ways or with light energy, it's like things are going to start to become really powerful and really beautiful. So that's why we're touching each other's hearts right now and we're reaching out to other people as much as we can, hence why the relationships are coming in the spirituality. Last card, I love this card, the star. This is about someone who's not being kind to themselves or they're not really trusting themselves, they're not following through with those creative ideas that they have. So because we're coming into some beautiful fire energy, this is a time to shine, this is a great time for career, this is a great time for putting things off that maybe you thought you wanted to do but you don't want to do anymore because all of a sudden, you know, you're not happy with something and you're realizing that you have more than you've ever, you know, known. So it's a time of your, like, that self, self, um like that self-healing piece and I just think it's like that's where you're going to feel more gratitude so you're going to start looking at things from a different perspective but our eyes have to be wide open and so don't get yourself kind of caught up in things that aren't positive during this new moon because it's not going to help you it's going to, going to hurt you right so if you feel like you're isolating too much as well so you need to give yourself time but you also need to make sure that you're taking that time to shine as well so putting that light into the darkness around this new moon will be really helpful i hope that you guys um enjoy this i hope that you have a chance to kind of connect with people and heal relationships any old wounds that you have and really start fresh and start new with this sagittarius moon so take care love you all namaste bye